back, my loyal subjects, to more Trails of Cold Steel. Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, well, we did the we did the vanilla and milk um request. Oh, that's where they're at. So Ang uh Jellica and George ended up coming back to try to help out with the craziness going on at the mine. Uh we now, thanks to Fee, we're almost certain that the provincial army is in on whatever's going on. But first and foremost, we need to head to RF Arms to try to turn this request in. <sighs> Completed the testing, I see. How did it go? Any significant problems? Nuh uh. I see. That's excellent news. How did the test weapon feel to use? Was it as powerful as you hoped? Hmm. Wasn't any harder to use than anything I've used before, which was good. Did a lot more damage, too. Guess your company knows their stuff. <laughs> really? I'm relieved to hear that. It sounds like it won't be long before we begin mass production, then. I'm surprised you haven't started already. Yeah, sounds like the new unit is pretty much perfect as it is. We still need to complete a long-term endurance test, I'm afraid. There are strict procedures which seem to be followed in order for a weapon to be declared fit for sale. They're much more intensive than the requirements for consumer goods. But Orbital Weaponry is generally designed to be sold in bulk to the Imperial Army, so naturally standards need to be higher. Precisely. But your testing helps us take a big step towards completion, so thank you very much for your assistance today. Here is your reward. Received mechanics goggles. Thank you very much. Oh, wait, I haven't given the gun swords back. Oh, that won't be necessary. Consider that an additional reward for your help. That orbital unit was designed purely for test purposes, so we couldn't use it for a finished product regardless. Cool. If that's everything, we should probably get going. Yes, of course. Thank you again! I hope this won't be the last time we work together. Quest, shots fired, completed. Okay, and now... Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Completed, but not... Okay. So they're reported. I was like, wait... The, but the difference between being uh, request being completed and reported is probably just us filing our reports at the end of the day, so... First... Uh... 892... Yeah. Let's get an Inferno Blazer for him. Uh, and a closed delta for him. Okay, that's it. And now from here, we can take our uh, grievances up directly with Arena Reinford. See if there's any way that she can get us into the Socks and Iron Mine and past the provincial goons. Because <sighs> those freaking guys. Excuse me, can I see some ID? Oh, you're the students from the Thor's Military Academy? My apologies. Yeah, you better apologize. Chief Johan. Oh, this is Mint's dad, by the way. I can hardly believe my ears. Terrorism and Ruhr. Which probably means Makarov is... Makarov is either his brother? No, if Makarov were Vanilla's brother, then he would have a food-themed name. So Makarov must be Johan's brother. It's a small relief that nobody I know is in the mine right now, but it still sends shivers up my spine. Hmm. Lenard, is it true that the mine was taken over by terrorists? This can't be happening. If their iron delivery is well behind schedule, then our profits for the quarter are... But please, just do what you can to sort it out. Who is he talking to? Manager Dalton? What's the manager of Hotel Reinford going to be able to do? But please, calm down and return to your office. We still don't know exactly what the situation at the mine is. I will let you know as soon as we receive word. I'm sure the chairman is doing all that she can to resolve this as we speak. Just please, stay calm. Uh, are these guys still hashing that deal out? <laughs> Thank you very much for your purchase. I, I think I might have spent a little too much this time. 
Do you have any idea what is going on outside, by the way? It's awfully noisy. Nothing you need to concern yourself with. Do we have to press the button? No, here we go. 24F. Barge directly in. Do not stop. Do not pass go. I wonder what Arena thinks of all this, because... We'll find- we're, we're probably about to find out just how much she knew about all the corruption that was going on. Oh, this is about to be quite the- quite the conversation. Huh, she must be up. Wait. Wait, what? Um... I thought she was supposed to be back by now. Oh man, I'm 100% in the wrong place, aren't I? Wait. No! There's someone in here. Sharon. <coughs> oh, hello everyone. <laughs> the chairman is quite a busy woman, so I, just you, I suggest you hurry if you wish to speak with her. Uh, how do you know what we're planning on doing? <laughs> I'm afraid that's classified. Of course it is. Okay, so we're in the wrong place. We must have to take a different elevator then. Well, of course, why would she be doing business from her personal her personal residence? That doesn't make much sense. Hmm. Huh. Oh, okay. Do we do we get that really intense cutscene every time you travel on the elevator? Hmm. Right. My turn. Okay. Here oh, go. it's her we have to talk to. Yeah. Lady Elisa, thank goodness you're all right. I was so worried when I heard you'd left the city. <clears throat> oh, you're talking about the trouble at the mine, right? Actually, I was hoping to talk with Mother about that. Is she in her office right now? Chairman Arena returned just a short while ago. Would you like me to set up an appointment? Please. Wow, we're actually respecting that? Yes, that's right. Lady Louisa has... Or Lady Elisa has. Understood. She says she can see right now, though she can't spare more than a few minutes. If you want to head up right now, she's waiting for you in her office. Thank you. This shouldn't take long. Alright, let's head up to floor 23. Right. Why do I get the feeling Sharon is going to be right there to welcome us? You can count on it. Sharon, ultra competent. Okay, so the ability to go to the 23rd floor must be available now. Yep. Traveling to 23F will cause the main story to advance. You will no longer be able to walk around Ruhr in the surrounding area. Be advised that any incomplete quests in Ruhr will expire if you do so. There's no... There's no way we can continue on. Okay, first, let's try talking to the Provincial Army really quickly. I don't know if we'd be able to continue on with a main quest and have that expire on us. I doubt it. But we just want to talk to them really quickly and make certain. And that's me walking into a, light, a lamppost. An orbal lamppost. Hmm. What are they doing? Guess what? Lady Angelica was here! Lady Angelica! Oh, I can't believe she came all the way here to see us! I really don't think that's the case. She must have finally realized our burning love for her! Oh, Lady Angelica, Lady Angelica! Uh, nah. Probably not. Okay, yeah. So you defeated the monster on the highway to the south, did you? Not too shabby for students. Th thank you very much. Well, keep up the good work. Here's your reward. Received separate mass times 800. Thank you very much. And with that, you're excused. I've got no idea what kinds of other tasks you've been given.
but don't get yourself involved in matters that don't concern you. Understood? R right. Quest Nordia Highway Monster completed. I was definitely about to screw myself out of that one. Oh well. Ha, huh, crisis avoided. Oh, but that means if they're standing right there, does that mean Jellica went that way? But the Orbital Motorcycle is parked out in front of the... Okay, it doesn't matter. Whatever's going on, I'm sure they'll figure it out. But yeah, we were totally about to leave with the main... Uh, be able to walk away with the main quest uncompleted. I, or I'm gonna have to remember that that's a thing that can happen. Okay. So right before this craziness happens... We'll save... And then we'll storm in. Whew. Saving system data. Twenty-three F. Oh crap. Travel to twenty three F on the elevator. That point of no return though. Alright, Arena Reinford, you've got some serious explaining to do. Well, we'll find out what she knows first. Then she might have some ex uh, serious explaining to do. Welcome back, everyone. I've been waiting for you. How did you even get here? Weren't you just on the 24th floor? I see how it is. You're taking Reinford's side again, huh? What does that mean? <laughs> as long as I wear this uniform, I'm simply a humble maid of the Reinford house. You, the chairman, and Master Gwyn are all deeply important to me. Thanks, I think. Show us in, then. Of course. Please, follow me. She's taking Reinford's side again? Sharon is, like, really elusive. This will be crazy. Bring them in. As you wish. Mother, we need to see you. Excuse us. Yeah. Elisa's confrontation with Arena. I apologize for canceling our dinner plans last night. But it's looking unlikely I'll be able to join you tonight either. No, that's fine. We understand. It's hardly surprising, given the current circumstances. I'm not sure what's keeping you so busy, considering you haven't even managed to fulfill one of your most basic duties. <clears throat> My lady, the miners who work at Saxon are employees of this company. With the Provincial Army barricading the mine and refusing to budge, those miners are at the mercy of the terrorists. I assume you've issued a formal objection to Marquis Rogner? Not on behalf of the company, no. It sounds like Director Heidel Rogner of the First Factory has requested something be done as a formality, but nothing more. Okay, so he just put a token, uh, put in a token show of a uh, show of uh, caring about the situation. That's it. Yeah. The First Factory has been dumping huge amounts of ore onto the black market for years now. And Arena can't tell us that she didn't know that was going on. Don't even try and tell me you haven't noticed it. Of course I've noticed. Being unable to bring the first factory in line allowed that to happen, and that's my failure, I admit. But think, if we assume the terrorists aren't acting alone here, what good would it do to issue an objection to Marquis Rogner? She's saying that he might be complicit too. Well... There are many possible outcomes to this crisis, and we must be prepared for all of them. For example, we need to consider the possibility that the terrorists may set off an explosive in the mine, and how to respond to that. This is a global company. Measures will need to be put in place to protect stock prices, taking Crossbell into account, too. <clears throat> She's got a point. Anything that affects the Reinford Company is going to indirectly affect a lot of people's lives. Correct. The Reinford Group is its own entity with its own role to fill. 
And I have mine as chairman. The Provincial Army and the RMP are acting in accordance with their purpose. And one might even say the same of the terrorists. Action with a purpose. That's what keeps the world in motion. So tell me, what's your purpose? To try to save those lives, I guess. Uh, I, um... Well... If you get what I'm saying, I suggest you leave. I... I... Mm. Are she, is she saying it's pointless for us to do anything or be here? I expect the explosion at the military factory is the extent of the damage the terrorists will cause here. I'll give you several additional tasks. I suggest you work on those for the remainder of the day. And we're just supposed to ignore the terrorist situation? And considering the situation here, I think it'd be best if you leave Ruhr tomorrow morning. You have my permission as a sitting director on the Academy's board. <sighs> but... Yeah, I don't think so. Uh-oh, tell her, Elisa. I'm not going to keep making the same mistakes anymore. Oh? All my life, I've turned a blind eye to what was going on right in front of me. I did it when you drove Grandfather out and took his position as chairman. And I did it when Father died and you let work become your life. All along, you've been working to build the company bigger and bigger, and all along, I just looked the other way. But in our field studies at Thor's, I've seen the imbalances and injustices of the world crop up over and over again. But even with that, I, and all of us, really, have to face that head on. And that's exactly what we've been doing. You asked what our purpose is. After six months at the Academy, that's my answer. <clears throat> well said. Agreed. That's why this time, I don't plan on backing down. You need to hear the truth, and I need to be the one to tell you. As your daughter, as your family, and above all, as someone who's watched the Reinford Company grow ever since I was a little girl. Mother, you're running this company the wrong way. Wow. My lady. <laughs> Can I assume you, in your infinite wisdom, are planning to tell me the correct way to run my company? I wouldn't have the faintest idea, honestly. Naturally. Oh, okay. But I still need more experience before I can do that. I promise you, though, that by the time I graduate from the Academy, I'll show you how this company should be run. As someone who just might succeed you as the chairman someday, I should be able to do at least that much. Oh. Right? Talk about staking your claim. It's one thing to make a promise. It's quite another to live up to it. Still, at least you're starting to see the bigger picture. Mother. Give it to her, Sharon. Uh-oh. Certainly. Is Elise about to get, like, her ultimate weapon or something? Here, my lady. Received card key. What's this? Some kind of key card? Correct. It opens the door to a passage that connects Ruhr City to the Iron Mine. Wait! There's really a secret passage? <laughs> The former chairman built it for use in case of an emergency. You'll find the entrance in the underground part of a maintenance room on the upper level of the city. Hmm, if we use that passage... We should be able to completely avoid having to deal with the provincial army. Is that okay? I'm not going to say thanks. Right now, I just believe this is the best way to press forward. And I'm going to tell you why through actions, not words. Excuse us, Madam Chairman. We've learned a lot during our field studies, and we'll put it all to use to come out on top. You don't need to worry about us. Wow. Okay. <laughs> They've grown a lot in the last six months. It's been a pleasure to watch them. 
Surely it wouldn't hurt to acknowledge that Lady Elisa has grown too. She's still got a ways to go. Okay. So Arena, I I guess she taught Elisa that? Or she let Elisa come to the conclusion on her own? And trusted in her to be able to do that? I'm not sure. I'm sure she's not running the company the wrong way on purpose or whatever. If she wants to take the mantle of the Rhineford Company from me, she'll have to show me she's got what it takes. Anyway, it seems all our principal players have assembled. Okay, now we're moving into the chess player phase. Can I ask you to do one more thing for me? Certainly. Elisa's hmm. S-Craft Rosetta Arrow was strengthened to become Judgment Arrow. After our meeting, we contacted Angelica and George and agreed to meet in front of the maintenance room that hid the entrance to the secret passage to the mine. Okay, and I was just talking about how Rosetta Earl was kind of underwhelming for an S-Craft. Whew. Well, maybe if it gets wider, then I'll be fine. Oh, Angelica's in the party too. Or she should be. George, I'm not so sure about. So now we have to kind of get in here. Yeah, we have to delve into the depths to save the miners, I'm sure. Who <laughs> would have thought there'd be an underground passage going all the way from Ruhr to the mine? Glenn really does think of everything. Oh, you know Elisa's grandfather? I've heard you two got along famously back when he was still living in Ruhr, probably picking up chicks all the time. He taught me all kinds of great stuff. How to pick up girls, the best spots in the entertainment district, uh, you know, the really important things in life. <sighs> it's not that I can't believe it, it's that I can too easily. I can only hope to sit and learn at the feet of the master one day. Still, it's probably thanks to him that Angie didn't go any further off the rails than she did. <laughs> can't deny that. It's nothing to laugh about. I wonder if we'll seem as colorful to the first years when we're second years. So, you think this is gonna work? Oh, where'd the chair come from? And that orbital laptop. Alright, that should do it. What is this thing? An orbital wave antenna? It's currently in development at the Institute of Technology, but I managed to convince them to let me borrow it. It emits directional orbital waves to widen the area where you can transmit and receive signals. That means you'll be able to use their Arcus unit's communication functionality even down here in the mine. That sounds pretty handy. You can do that? Yup, Toa's busy gathering information on what's going on across the Empire right now. And I'll be able to pass that info along to you while overseeing this operation. But if things get too dangerous, I'll give you the order to pull out, so make sure you keep the line open. Got it. It'll be nice to have some support. Well, if George is just a call away, we've got nothing to worry about. Okay, I think it's about time we got going. And thanks again, everyone, for coming along. I've got my Arcus on me, so I should be able to hold my own in battle. Always room for one more with us! Your knowledge of the mine will really be invaluable. I'm looking forward to seeing you clean up with those Taito skills of yours. Angelica joined the party. The maximum number of support members has temporarily increased to three. And there she is! Level 61? Are we underleveled? Hmm. Let's see. What she got equipped? Platinum fists. Armor battle coat. Aura jacket. Let's, uh... Hmm. He'll lose some strength, so we're not about to do that. 
granted to a top student. Um, yeah, let's give that to Elisa. That'll make her really tanky. Mm. Okay, she's fine as she is. Hiking shoes. Nah. Um, we want to give her... That'll increase her speed, but... EP plus 50. Okay, gladiator build. And then anything to give her more strength. Okay, Highland Cloth. And then let's see what her ornament's looking like, too. What do we want to give her? Automatically analyzes defeated enemies. That strength plus 10 is more important. Cross Crusade. Extra strength and HP. Yeah. And then... Golden Sphere. Even more extra strength and HP. Hmm. Do we have an Evade 3 we can give her instead of an Evade 2? Maybe. Nope. Breeze. Aerial Breath Recuria. But that'll drop her Evade. Nah. Okay, this burn, we can definitely switch out for something better. Attacks crafts can burn, 10% chance. Let's... La Forte would probably be better. And what about something with bonus stats? Let's... wait. Does Reen have Impassion? Okay, he does, but it's not it's not attached to um not attached to anything. Uh Okay. She's about to hit 1k 1k strength. Uh, I want to I just want to see what happens if I give her something that'll up her strength. Okay, so it can go to 1k. Now, let's give her back her holy breath. Okay. Uh, let's customize weapon. We can't customize uh, hers. Kageichi Monji. We can give her the platinum bow. We've got a lot of you material. Insufficient items. Okay, that's fine. Equip. Already got. Already got. Okay, so everybody who got their weapons, everybody who we could update already has their weapons, so that's fine. Does he have any new Master Chords? He does not. Oh, we can buy the Fuji Ichimonji right now. Insufficient Mira. Not for much longer. Um... We should have some, uh, some Sepith Mass, yep. Oh, crap. That was all sorts of wrong. Okay. Yes. And then let's buy the Fuji Ichimonji. And then from here, we can customize. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, they're fine. Okay. So now that we're all prepped, let's save it up. And then we'll carry on and start fighting. I'm assuming that... Because I want to see... I want to see Elisa and Angelica's link ending. I'm assuming they'll say something pretty personal. Or at least theirs will have... Uh, at least theirs will sound more than, like, generic. 
Okay, so that's an enemy that we need to wait for it to turn around for us. It looks kind of like a, a drill bird. Freaking! Oh, am I losing out on an active voice? Now's our chance. We can do Aww. this. My turn. That sucks. Oh well. Second form. Damn. Moon mole. Got one of them. Missed the other completely. I'm in. Okay. Let's see. Laser bullet. Zero impact. Dragon boost. Got him. I've got you. It's over. Finishing blow. I can do this. Uh, let's battle scope because we don't have Machius in the party. Battle scope. Oh, let's try cooking with Jellica while we've got her in the party, actually. Okay, so we want to use wind. Slash. Slash, pierce, and strike are good. Moon Mole, level 57. A mole monster that lives in the sealed mine shaft. Its claws are ideal both for digging and cutting prey. My turn. Got him. My turn. Go. Okay, I'll you're about you to freaking die. Right. Come on, Elisa. Ah. Oh well. Oh, we did it. Level up on Reen. Great. Yeah, that active voice is completely gone. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Looks like this is just a one-way path. Well, no chance of us getting lost in here, at least. Let's run on through. Okay, golden. Nothing but that moon mole so far. Ooh. Oh, it's already turned around. Ha! Gotcha. And what do Not we have chance. here? My turn. Um, we'll start off with a Gale Slash. Second form. Metal Gale. Deal. Wow. Now's a chance. I'll pick you up. Almost all of them. Right. Uh, let's battle scope really quickly. We've got plenty of these, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, so we want to use strike and pierce. Also, water, fire, and earth are all... Not earth. Water, fire, and wind are all good. Freeze also. Metal beetle, level 57. A beetle with a metallic shell was once frequently dug up when people mistook them for actual ore. Huh. <clears throat> Dead. Sweet dreams, pussycats. Ha <laughs> ha! Freaking Jellica. This, oh man, this is what I wanted all those episodes ago. Oh well. Oh freaking well, some dreams don't come true. Oh well. Oh! Uh oh. Come here, you little. They won't even know what hit him. So we'll have My Green turn. open up with a regular <laughs> slash. There's a chance. I'll pick you up. And I'm then in. we'll try a strike. <laughs> Got him. Now. All right, follow me. Right, right. <laughs> there, there. Crap, dude. It's my turn. Oh well. <laughs> that takes care of them. Dang, should have went all in. What's down here though? Ha! Found EP charge three in the chest. Yeah, does it? Oh, what well, makes? Oh yeah, Toe's been pretty worried about all of you, you know. Well, glad to know she's looking out for us. Yeah, though I feel a little bad since we're making more work for her. Oh, Toa can handle it. If there's one thing uh, Toa can handle, it's a massive paper workload. And if there's one thing we can handle, it's this crappy metallic needle. Crap, dude. Did it get us or did we get it? 
Bring it on. Okay. My turn. Dang. They're not wrapped up in a nice little Seven package four. for us. Damn. Instantly killed. Yeah. It's my not turn. close enough to make it, definitely. Yeah. Uh, right. Elliot? <laughs> yep. Freaking dead. Time to shine. <laughs> We just need... You okay? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so they Our must turn. start off at a pretty high link level. Because auto tier is definitely not first level stuff. Fire. My turn. Uh, let's try to have Jellica do it. I'm in. There we go. go I've got you. <laughs> Behold the power of our love. Oh, you never change, do you? <laughs> So let's pair her up with Crow. She probably says something says something interesting with Crow too. Oh right, we were gonna cook. Um, ornaments. That is. Where the heck? Okay. Recipe. There we go. Oh, we can't cook with her. Hmm. Hmm. Fried fish. Let's try making. Fried fish with fee. Mm, okay. This one's my specialty. It'll be Golden. Good. Fish nuggets. Uh, let's try making tomato grot. Oh no, we already know tomato gratin is uh is her thing. Emma's thing. Green can do crispy pizza by himself. Berry tart could potentially be Elisa. Tomato sandwich. Okay. Let's try one with Elliot. Hope this turns out okay. Oh, this looks pretty nice. An elegant sandwich, and then we'll try one with Machias. All right, I'll give it a try. <laughs> what did you expect? It's his victory sandwich. And nope. The only other things we can make, we don't have the per, uh, party member we need for them. Okay, so we're gonna continue down this mine. We're gonna figure out everything that's going on. That's all gonna be next time though. So definitely join me then for more Trails of Cold Steel. Bye for now, guys.